Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Audrey. If you're new here, hi. So this video today is going to be a walkthrough of how to resize emotes. This is how you resize them in Ibis Paint X and Medibang Paint on Android. Here we go. We're going to open up our project. This is an Ibis Paint X. The canvas size that I have for this emote that I did was 3000 by 3000. The original aspect ratios for your emotes. I've seen people start them off at like 3000, 500, 800. You just gotta make sure they're a square. Off to the left, we're gonna scroll all the way down. There's canvas, select canvas. We're gonna select DPI resize. And then right here you can see you can change the width and the height. So you just go into the width. You have to backspace and delete all of that and then enter in pixels. So we're going to be doing 112. And here you can change the resolution, the DPI as well. You, you want a higher quality DPI dots per inch if you are going to be like making prints, art prints, stuff like that. But an emote is the tiny little thing on a screen, so you don't really need so many dots per inch. Okay, and you're gonna hit the check mark to save it. You leave everything else alone, don't mess with anything else, and you wanna keep your aspect ratios. We're going to be saving that. Okay, it's gonna look funny, but if you like zoom it all the way out, that's exactly what the size is gonna look like if you go all the way down. So now we're going to save as a transparent PNG by hitting the back arrow. And then you're gonna undo the resizing to bring back your original image, and you repeat these steps for your 56 and your 28 pixel or whatever size pixel that you're making. That's how you resize and save your emotes in Ibis Paint X. Okay, so I'm just kind of looking at the differences between the 112 and a 56. There's a 112, 56, 112. All right, so now we're moving into Medibang Paint. Going to bring in our image by adding another layer, select your image, and then you don't need to magnify anything, just hit set. To resize, you're gonna go to the, the one with the little pen in the square and hit canvas settings. Don't do canvas size, cause it will not work. It will just shrink your entire canvas, but not your image. I made this mistake at first and this is what it does. Don't do that. So hit undo, go back to the square with the pen in it and canvas settings, image size, and then shrink it down to your 112, your 56, and your 28. And here you can change the DPI as well. And you're going to save, export, PNG, transparent, hit OK. And there it saved it and it'll automatically open it with your gallery so you can preview it and that's what the 112 looks like you hit undo zoom back out and repeat the process always undo before you exit the application hit save you always want to retain your full size image all right so here i opened up my gallery just a quick preview of the difference so this is the 112 in ibis paint the 56 in ibis paint the 112 in medibang 56 in Medibang and 28 in Medibang. And just kind of like a comparison of all of them. So you can see there's not too much of a difference in like the blurriness versus the sharpness. Medibang does kind of make the 112 a bit sharper, I think. Wow! The smaller, smaller images don't really matter because they are just all small. Right, so I'm opening up Google Chrome and going to the test page where you can test your emotes and see what they're going to look like either on the light or dark version of Twitch. This link right here, I'll link it down in the description below as well, but you add to the big box, you add your emotes. The smaller box are for badges. So you go ahead and add your image. I did the 112 of the Ibis Paint, the 112 of the Medibang, and this is just clearly what it looks like down when you scroll down, what it would look like for the light and the dark. This uh, web page also has some tools off to the right hand side here that you can toggle things on and off. Just play around with it and see exactly what you need it set to. All right, so I hope that helped you figuring out how to resize emotes. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer as many as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.